we do everything on behalf of the customer. If you look at Sri Lanka, we have about 250,000 people working in this industry. Don't you ever feel like wearing what you make? Uh, I have feel, but uh, I don't have again the opportunity to wear because the, there's the conditions we can't wear this. I've got a design team in the company, which is all in Grun Talent. We don't have a single overseas designer, and our success has been the designers we've employed, nurtured. Brandix supports local designers. Don't you want to see them on the labels? Yes, for sure, because I've got designers who's designing for Victoria's Secret. I did a bra, which, which I've got the patent for in the US, and because of the bureaucracies and the politics within the company, Somebody does something and the management takes it and they want to run with it. I said, no, this is what I have done. I go and present it because it's my work. How can you go and talk about my work? What would take us from buying a, a $4 garment that's made in Asia, sold in, in, in the US or in UK for $40 or 40 pounds, and then we buy it and we wear it in Sri Lanka. It's probably just the branding, how they brand it, okay? We need to take pride to say it's made in Asia. It's us who make it. Let's wear it while it's here, before it goes there and then comes back here. There's one university, Hegel University of Moratua. I found out that every year they have 60 graduates. 50% of those graduates go into sales and other jobs. Uh, the balance 30 are absorbed by the manufacturers out here. And I actually asked a question that, okay, how many of these designers actually go and do designing? After that, they said none you know, they become tailors for the world again. We are here, all of last week the girls were sleeping here. My mother sent mattresses and pillows and sheets and we were here because they had so much of work, but they have so much of fun. When you work hard, you come up with opportunities like Colombo Fashion Week, and then it helps you take the next leap. And now, ladies and gentlemen. First nightmare. I mean, everyone saw it. Bombs around uh, the plane and the gunfire. It was like a battleground last night, you know. And if you saw this thing in the morning when we came up here, it was like a bomb shelter. Everything all over. So, so yeah. So we like trying really hard to get it back in order, and we will. Mm -hmm.